ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 8 of Pikmin. Last time we landed back in the Forest Naval to try and retrieve the last three ship pieces and we managed it. Today we are going back to the Forest of Hope. And again, we have three more ship pieces to get today. And, oh boy, <laughs> let me tell you, two mini-bosses, guys, we're going to be going against today. They're not particularly difficult, but they are annoying if you want to try and not lose any Pikmin, like I'm kind of doing, but not really, because I've already taken losses this series. Mostly to the crushing glitch, but well, let's not talk about that. Speaking of which, yeah, okay, we do have one buried. I was wondering that, because we lost quite a few to the crushing glitch the last time we were in the Forest Naval, and thanks to Flower Pikmin, like, replanting seeds when they die, sometimes, uh, we've kind of, like, we can't get a full squad out, but none nevertheless, we're going to try and get all of these Pikmin here flowered up before we leave. And so the more... No, 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 don't use, like, two Pikmin... Oh, my goodness. Mind you, actually, we've got a lot of Pikmin to attack. Oh, 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 oh. Have we got all flowers? I believe so. Cool. And we've still got one, like, section of grass we can use as well. Which is fantastic. Dwarf Bob Orb. Die. They've respawned, guys. We've been away for more than three days. Well, we've been away for three days. So they've all respawned. Okay, let's go into this group of uh, Shigrubs and just dismiss our Pikmin. That worked flawlessly. <laughs> I have no idea how we didn't lose a Pikmin there. Um, but yeah, I'm tired of taking out, like, the male ones just by... No! Just by trying... <laughs> wow. <laughs> we saved it. I'm tired of taking out the, um, the sheer grubs just by aiming at them. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Can I, can I please, can I please, can I please, can I please, can I please? There we go. I think I did it. Yeah, we didn't lose a Pikmin to a Dwarf Bulb Orb there either. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, I've, I've grown tired of just trying to stomp on sheer grubs. I'm gonna regret saying that because there's gonna be loads of sheer grubs and sheer wigs to take care of in the final, um, in the final level. Well, not the final level, but the Distant Springs. Um, so yeah. Okay, do I have all of my team on me? Yes, we do. Okay, so over here, by the first, or one of the first sequence breaks I showed you in this level, because this, uh, this level requires you to, well, these last, um, shit pieces don't require you to have blue Pikmin, but you're supposed to have them, okay? And I did show you the sequence breaks, is if you want to try and use them to, um, to get the- Am I really losing- Pikmin are just falling off the other side. I did show you the sequence breaks to, um, uh, to get these shit pieces, or to get past these obstacles if you want to try to do that. Be my guest, that was in episode 3, I believe. I can't remember exactly though. Okay, so, let's take these Pikmin. I'm throwing them over for a reason. I can't seem to ever get them over the bridge without some of them falling in the water. Uh, but over here is where we're going to find one of the mini-bosses we're facing today. And annoyingly, there's three of them. <laughs> so, I'm going to whistle my Pikmin and swarm them over here. Hope that none of them actually attack that, because that is the burrowing snag rope. And that is the burrowing pain in my butt. <laughs> um, that is not the one we want to attack, because that doesn't have a shit piece. Only one of them does, and he's over here. If you dismiss your Pikmin near him, uh, they will attack it and hopefully do enough damage so that they go back underground. And you want to wait until he swarms or he comes up like that. When he gets stuck, your Pikmin can latch onto his head and do a butt ton more damage. And we lucky we got him twice there doing that. Um, we didn't actually get many more Pikmin on there than I wanted. Come on, guys, come back. Okay, come on, attack, attack, attack. If you dismiss your Pikmin on him, you do way more damage. Because they just all instantly attack him. But yeah, he will drop uh, the Geiger Counter. Every spaceship needs one of these. But I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise. But never pay much attention to it, so it doesn't do me much good. I should really read the manual one of these days. Yes. Okay, awesome. So please, take the Geiger back Counter back, guys. It takes 25 Pikmin to carry it. Uh, and I don't want them carrying anything else back. Because I want all my Pikmin accounted for. They can make the other um, Snagrits appear, so you don't want that. And I kind of want like as few Pikmin to take that back as possible. Hang on, 78 plus 21 is 99. That's fantastic. All Pikmin accounted for, none left behind. We're going to get the Pikmin working on this bridge over here. Over by what looks like the Libra. This is not the Libra. Um, this is something that looks very similar to the Libra, uh, but is definitely not just a lazy... Um, a lazy developer move where they take one ship piece and put it in two different parts of the map and call it different things. No, definitely not. 
Um, okay, let's go back to our Pikmin that are taking the Geiger counter back. Okay, I'm very happy with how this is going so far. If we can get this other shit piece back by the end of the half day, then we're, we are golden. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good, very good. Awesome. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Kaiga counter, this noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzers. It can be kind of annoying. I have now recovered 17 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 12 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, I'm going to take these 21 Pikmin and attack some Dwarf Bulb Orbs here. Uh, they're just in the way for now, and we also want to use the blue Pikmin to... Can I, can I please kill that Dwarf Bulb Orb? Thank you. I am not like going through the ordeal of attacking the... A uh, boring Snagret and not losing any Pikmin, and then losing a Pikmin to a Dwarf Bulb Orb. Or a second Dwarf Bulb Orb. Or even a third Dwarf Bulb Orb. Oh, please. Thank you. Okay, that's all of them done. 24 I should have? Wait. Oh no, it was 21. Good. And we want to start attacking this wall here with these guys. Okay. Fantastic. They should be done by the time we get the other ship piece back, to be fair. That um, spotty ball ball is going to cause us problems. Like I said, it's going to be in the way when we get around to taking uh, another ship piece back. So these blue Pikmin should be close to finishing. In fact, literally, as I get here, they finish. That's freaking amazing. Okay, so what I want to do is get them... Actually, let's get them moving these out of the way first. And just dismiss them. And then they move them out of the way. That's fantastic. I want to keep them all focused and working on taking this bridge out. Okay, take that bridge out, guys. Thank you very much. Are they taking it back? They better not be. Pellet pose is respawning. That's fantastic. Actually, let's get some of these. 41 is going to be more than enough uh, to take back this ship piece. Okay, which is definitely not the Libra. Okay, remember that, guys. It's important to remember that this is not the Libra. This is, in fact, the Sagittarius. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back home on planet Hockertate. Oh, to be back there right now. Okay, and it requires 20 Pikmin to carry back. We want more Pikmin there. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Do your job. Do your duty. <laughs> I said duty. Okay, <laughs> 28 carrying that back. They've all done the bridge, which is marveloso. Um, I kind of want to call them back as soon as I can and get these guys flowered up. Oh, don't walk under the bridge, otherwise you might die. Remember, stupid glitch in the game. And the other Pikmin have actually destroyed that wall, which is fantastic. Okay, let's back get back here. I'm going to need maybe like 15 yellows. So let's put get 35 blues out and dismiss the rest. Okay, wonderful. Wunderbar. And let's focus on getting our Pikmin flowered up. We're nearly at the halfway mark. We're just now at the halfway mark. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, let's take out these Pikmin. I have full 100 now. Let's ignore these guys. Uh, because they're going to take the Sagittarius back. We need to take out that Bulb Orb. And we're going to do that with Bomb Rocks. Because I don't trust the cl crushing glitch at this point. We are so close to finishing. We've taken out one mini boss. We are not losing Pikmin to the crushing glitch now. Sagittarius, this was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. That's all he's got to say. Okay, we got 13... Oh no, we got 18 ship pieces. Just 11 more to get before we unlock the final area. Which means we've got a lot of work to do in the distant spring. Let's dismiss our yellow Pikmin near here, because I'm pretty sure this is almost an infinite source of bomb rocks. Awesome. Okay, how are we going to deal with this guy? I'll show you how with bombs. That's how... Okay, I'm going to be very sneaky about this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, throw one. And get him to throw a bomb. Come back, please. Come back. Thank you very much. Run out of the way. Because the sooner we get him to turn back around, the better. Get another guy with a bomb. <laughs> okay, because it, it, it takes roughly half his health away, but as soon as he goes to sleep, he starts regenerating. So we're going to need three bombs in total. Come on, guy. Get back here quickly. Okay, yeah, annoyingly we couldn't get the third, but we couldn't use the second bomb to kill him. Gonna need the third one. And we're also gonna need more. No, I just want one. Oh, two will do. Eh, okay. Okay, please, just, just die already. <laughs> there we go, he's dead. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna need more bomb Pikmin, or bomb rocks. 
Right, so let's grab you guys. Four in total? We got eight. Okay, so you can actually get up here using... Uh, without even getting up here, if that makes sense. So there's another wall to break over there for the last mini boss. Um, so you can just sort of throw Pikmin up there one at a time. That'll be fun. Oh god, that was too. That was too soon. F freaking hell, man! <laughs> you need four bomb rocks in order to take him out. Um, that's fantastic. So now let's get all of our Pikmin, all of them, leave none behind. Okay, mainly yellow ones actually, because we want to put the yellow ones away. Then flower up our, well, actually we may as well get the remainder of our blues out. Oh god, the bomb rocks. You know what, do I set those bomb rocks off? No, I'm not going, to, I'm not going to risk it. Um, <laughs> going to get the remainder of our Pikmin out. We're going to flower them up so that we can get this last shit piece back really quick. Um, nectar, please. Please, and thank you, sir. Because we've got a lot of th stuff to do still in the last quarter of the day. Because we are getting close to the last quarter. Come on, please. Please, more nectar. More nectar. Thank you. We've got a lot of buds here from the fight with the Snagroats. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That should be enough. We no longer need yellow Pikmin, which is great. Just need all of these blues to do <laughs> the unthinkable. Wait, we lost a... How did we lose a Pikmin? Less the one under there is... Did we actually lose a Pikmin? That's the thing. Or did I just not take out enough? I hope I didn't take out enough, because if I can just take out one more, then that would be great. If I lost the Pikmin, I would be furious. I think I would just wait. I ha I had to wait a little bit longer to get that, um, to get them all out. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's getting dark. <laughs> Come on, guy. Come on, guys. So I should have 99 with me once I get them all from this wall. I do. Okay, we're getting very close to the end of the day now. So here we have the Armored Cannon Beetle. And this guy is a real sucker. I mean, just watch him. He will suck up air and then blow out a poop ball. The way you defeat him is by throwing Pikmin at his suck hole. He will overheat and you spam throw Pikmin at him. You do not let up. You need to get him out on the first try. I mean, nothing else happens if you don't. Okay, okay. Okay, nothing else happens if you don't. You can get Pikmin crushed, but it's just so much easier. Come on, come on, just spam Pikmin at his blowhole. Should be fine. He'll try and cool down. Uh, a lot of people think you can only use red Pikmin to attack him for this reason. But no, blues are fine. Okay, that's him done. Get out of there. Okay, I believe we've done it. Here we go. This is the last ship piece for today. Alas, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiations of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back to the ship. It takes 30 Pikmin to carry it, but we're going to take 50. Okay. And once that gets back, we should be golden. I think that's it, guys. Okay, we've got 49 still on our team. That's great. Got to make sure that I actually get them all back now. Oh, my goodness. Okay, don't anyone touch that grass that's there. You don't need to be flowered, okay? Although, do we? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and flower these Pikmin up. Okay. So, yeah. What's funny is that in the same episode as Olimar saying that he hopes there isn't any radiation leaks, we discovered the Geiger counter, which would tell him if he had any radiation leaks. It's almost as if that was planned. Okay, there we go. That is all the ship pieces back from the Forest of Hope. Great. I think we may have lost one Pikmin, but I'll be very disappointed if we did. Radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. I'll be in for even more trouble if it has any radiation leaks. Okay, 19 ship parts, which means we've got 10 left to get in the, um, in the distant springs, and then one in the last um, area. Okay, guys, you know what? <laughs> I know it's a waste of time, but I'm going to put all you away because I'm pretty sure... You'll all be safe. And I'm going to try and save that one Pikmin that's buried underneath that spotty ball warp. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I don't know how, but it will live on. I think all I've got to do is he actually under the spotty ball warp. He is. I can see his little red butt. Come on, guy. Wake up. <gasps> there he is. Come get me. If I lose this Pikmin now, I'll be so disappointed. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, come on, I'm saving you. I'll carry you 
to the end of the earth. You live. You live, my friend. Your name will forever be known as Roger. You can stay there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is the first time I'm... You know what? No. Roger is going to celebrate by taking back a single red pellet. Good job, Roger. I'm proud of you. It means I'm going to have to pluck those those two Pikmin that come from it, but I'm proud of you. Blow up the bomb rocks! Can I actually blow... Uh, tell you what, that would be really depressing if I blew up the bomb rocks and Roger died. Good job, Roger. Good job. I'm so proud of you, Roger. And you know what? Your two little sproutlings, they'll remain here. They'll remain here as a reminder of your bravery. You died... You, you didn't die in battle, but you were born through bloodlust. And you remain... You know what? You can look after them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're staying with me, buddy. Roger. You're gonna do it. Your two little friends here, they came from your bravery. Born from blood bloodlust and reproduced in bravery, you will live on in the memories of this Let's Play. I'm so proud of you, Roger. I'm tearing up. There we go, guys. All three ship pieces that were left in the Forest of Hope and Roger. We saved Roger. <laughs> we, we, plick, we plucked the one Pikmin that was left over, only to leave two more behind. <laughs> Okay, Guardian Satellite, attach. Good job, buddy. And here we go. No more food for you, Spotty Bulborbs. You will not be feasting on Pikmin flesh today. Did we actually do it? I'm pretty sure. Eight days since impact. <laughs> the Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicates that taking food pellets back to the onion of the same color results in the release of a large number of Pikmin seeds. Also found ways to group Pikmin by color. I can hold A to grab one, then press B to swap it out. I can press C to dismiss them into color-like groups. Wow, we didn't learn that in day one. We didn't lose any Pikmin, and Roger sprouted too. I am so happy with that, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Pikmin. We have 11 parts left to get in 22 days. I plan on getting... Okay, here's the here's the idea. I have no idea how this is, how easy this is going to be pull off. Five in the next day from the distant spring, and then five in the day afterwards. Okay, like I said, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do that. But some people are able to do this game just one day per area, so surely I can do five in one area. But yes, that's going to do it today, guys. We have finished the impact site. We have finished the Forest of Hope, and we have finished the Forest Naval. Join me next time in day nine when we go to the distant spring and half finish it. Am I right? Are there ten? Yes, there are. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.